Hi everyone and welcome to today's class which is about accommodation. So this is a basic introduction to the types of housing and accommodation you'll find in English speaking countries. For more detailed terms and vocabulary please see the classes entitled Searching for Accommodation in the upper intermediate level. So first, let's take a look at some of the rooms and places that you find inside of a home. Starting with the bedroom. This is a room used for sleeping in. A living room, or a lounge, sometimes referred to as a sitting room in the UK, is a room in a house or apartment that is used for relaxing and entertaining guests, but not usually for eating. Bathroom is a room with a bath or a shower and often a toilet as well. The hall. This is the area just inside the main entrance of a house, apartment or other building which leads to other rooms and usually to the stairs. A utility room is usually just for washing machines, freezers and so on. A shed is a building separated from the rest of the house, usually for storing garden tools. A loft is a space in the roof of the house. It's usually used for storage as well, but sometimes it can be converted into a living space. A cellar is a room below ground level without any windows, usually used again for storage. A basement is similar to a cellar, again it's below ground, with windows used for living or even working. A landing is a flat area at the top of a staircase. A porch is a covered area before the entrance door. A pantry is a large cupboard used especially in the past for storing food not so common in modern apartments a terrace or a patio is a paved area between the house and the garden for sitting and eating and a balcony is an area with a wall or bars around it that is joined to the outside wall of a building on an upper level Now you're going to see a series of images. Uh, try to name each image as they appear. Use the words you've studied to complete these sentences. I've got a dark room in the where I develop films. It's perfect because there are no windows down there. We keep our skis up in the during the summer. They're out of the way up there. You'll find the garden chairs in the at the bottom of the garden. Bring them up and we'll have a drink on the and watch the sunset. The light switch for the stairs is on the as you come out of the bedroom. People use a to store their food. Okay, so now let's take a look at some types of houses and places where people live starting with a house, a building in which people usually families live. A detached house describes a house that is not connected to another building. A semi-detached house is a house that's attached but only on one side. 
An apartment, also referred to as a flat in the UK, is a set of rooms for living in, especially on one floor of a building. A terraced house is a house that's joined to the neighbouring houses on either side. A cottage is a small house usually in the countryside. A bungalow is a house that only has one storey or one floor. A bedsit is a rented room which has a bed, table, chairs and somewhere to cook in it. A villa is a house usually in the countryside or near to the coast or the sea, particularly in southern Europe and often one which people can rent for a holiday. A timeshare is a holiday house or apartment which is owned by several different people, each of whom is able to use it for a particular period of the year. Now try to name each image as they appear.